How are you? October the 4th, 20. 24, I'm covering Rogers Hornsby. After an awful 1932 season, where Hornsby got fired as play manager with the Chicago Cubs, he's looking for a team to play for in 1933. So he looks up to St. Louis Cardinals, his former team, and Branch Rickey is running the organization at that time. So he signs a contract, $15,000 for the 1933 season. That's based on his performance in the past. He gets it, he plays 46 games for the St. Louis Cardinals, about two months. But during the month of May or June, right around there, Branch Ritchie was not happy of what was going on. So he brings up players from the farm system and he lets go Roger Hornsby from the Cardinals. Interesting, right? Hornsby at the time is 37 years old, 46 games. Hornsby is looking around to play Signs with the St. Louis Browns, which are in the American League. Cardinals were in the National League. So Hornsby goes to the Browns and plays 11 more games with them. So as a result, in his 1933 season, getting paid $15,000, he appears in 57 games. Misses almost over a... Well, he missed... 97 games because with the Cardinals, he was in and out of the lineup, and then with the Browns, doesn't play as much. 57 games, 1933. 92 at-bats, 11 runs scored, 30 hits, 7 doubles, 3 homers, 23 RBIs. He had one stolen base, 14 walks, bats 326 collectively between the two teams. 30 hits out of 92 at bats gives you 326 average. 426 on base, 500 slugging, 46 total bases. Nothing to nothing to look at. He had a four-game hitting streak, five game, five multi-hit games, four two-hit games, one three-hit game. One game, two runs scored, six games, two RBIs. So Rogers Hornsby is getting close to the ends of his career and 1933 season he only gets 30 hits again you have to question what's going on with this guy why isn't he playing a full season 57 games between the cardinals and the browns that's all he misses 97 games i think part of it had to do with his legs were given out him and he had a broken leg in 1932, had a cast. So to come back from that, he's kind of le leery. Is that the right word? Weary, hesitant. So he doesn't play as much. He pinch hits, gets a walk sometimes. Pinch hits, goes, strikes out sometimes in a pinch hit roll. Sometimes he gets a base hit, drives in a run. But that's, that's about all he's doing. Not really playing full games. And in the infield, they didn't have the DH back then. So he, you had to be either in the infield or not. And I think he was, he was a poor infielder toward the end of his career because of his legs. 1933 is a bust that season. 30 hits, 57 games. All right, we're going to keep going. We've got four more years to go because he plays in 1934, 35, 36, and 37. Let's see how he does. Talk to you later. I'm out.